So this is similar to a problem we had before, but the difference is uh, now we got a quadratic here for f of x. We got to find f of a plus h minus f of a. So first thing, let's do this. Let's think about what f of a plus h is going to look like. Well, that's f of x with a plus h plugged in for x. So any place there's an x, we have to replace it with a plus h. So this gives us a plus h, the quantity squared, minus 3 is f of a plus h. So now let's put this thing together in what is actually the numerator of what's called our difference quotient. So f of a plus h is a plus h, the quantity squared, minus 3. Now f of a is basically f of x with now a plugged in for x. So that's going to be a squared minus 3. Now when you go to plug this into our difference quotient, because it's minus, it's a really good idea to put it in parentheses. If it were plus, the parentheses would not be near as important. Now, let's talk about this part here. a plus h to the quantity squared is not a squared plus h squared. That has to be foiled out. We have a plus h times a plus h minus 3 and then we can go ahead and distribute this negative so we'll have a minus a squared plus 3 so you can already start to see some canceling that's going to happen let's go down to the next line here a times a is a squared h times h is h squared and on the inside we have a times h plus another a times h. So plus 2a times h. And that was a positive h squared. Let's cancel these out. So minus 3 and plus 3 cancel. So minus a squared. And the a squareds cancel. And we get 2ah plus h squared for our final answer. Completely simplified.